Alrighty, Aquarius. This is going to be a monthly tarot reading for you for January. I am uh, changing up this week and doing monthlies instead of weeklies. And uh, if you guys like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't, let me know in the comments. Which one, if you like weeklies better or this, this monthly one? Because um, I use different spreads for each that are my own, of course. Um, all right. So starting off Aquarius for January, and I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle here. Cougar, assertive. Okay. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull a few oracle cards and then tarot. All right. So I'm going to do three different oracles first and then tarot. So this flipped over. Sometimes I take it, sometimes I don't. I'm going to take that one. this deck for the monthlies and um all right so for Aquarius for January And uh, also, each sign has a power color, and yours is blue. Okay, so there are water signs, fire, air, and earth, because um, Taurus stands out a little bit, and they are an earth sign. Also, Cancer stands out a little bit, and that's water. Okay, so I'm just looking at the cards here for a second. So you have two fives, you have two sixes. The number five is about change and um, inconsistency, conflicts. And the number six is about hearts and healing and cooperation. It can also be perseverance. But, oh, well, I, right there, perseverance. <laughs> and I was not looking at that. <laughs> but, um, all right, so... I hope these are straight. Doesn't look quite straight. In your first row here, it says, You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. All right. Underneath that, you have the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so for some of you here, there might be a blast from the past. Um, can be a love relationship or a friendship and um, could also just be you thinking a lot about the past or things from the past. Could be old dreams or plans you had or maybe it's you having a desire to return to the good old days. Maybe you want to make your life a little more simple. And uh, for some of you this can also be about children either bringing joy in your life or it could be issues regarding children. Underneath that, so you have eight of wands under that. 
So this can be a sudden burst of activity or excitement. Um, it's rapid changes. It can be communication also. And for some of you, it might be travel or a move. So it could be communication or travel, or and it could happen kind of fast. For some of you, it can also represent something like, like a fast success for some. But this is, to me, is more for you guys about some type of communication stuff that happens. And it could be from somebody from your past or somebody in your recent past here. It could be recent past or far back. But again, also can just be about how what you're thinking. Next up here, you have perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Okay. Underneath that, you have the Hierophant and the Five of Wands. Hierophant, Hierophant, however you want to font say it. <laughs> and so this can be, for some of you, indicate uh, either marriage or maybe that you are married. But for some, it could be about marriage and it could be about somebody from your, uh, somebody you've been, could be thinking about somebody here. And that could be, maybe you're thinking of marriage, maybe it leads to marriage. And again, some of you might be married. But this also is about guidance and ethics and taking advice from somebody that you trust, somebody who you think is wise. And it might be a spiritual blessing that happens in January. But, you know, it's a public show of union of, you know, or faith or something like that. So that's why um, it can also mean that public show of union can be, you know, marriage. And there might be some conflicts or some differences of opinions. And if so, you can just try to maybe walk away from it and if you don't want to walk away from it then try a different way of presenting something there might be some type of setback maybe some type of power struggle and it can be you know about with a person or this can be in anything but you do have perseverance you have your good enough so keep going maybe try to present yourself differently it could be about this can also to me indicate conflicts um, going on within you it doesn't have to be outside you this can be within you but because this card is saying you are good enough so you could be going back and forth with something or something within you here all right next row here is Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, forgiving and learning. And that could be what some of these conflicts are about if you are having them internally, whether to forgive or not, or something to do with that. So underneath that, you have the chariot, you have the six of swords. So, this shows victory. It shows drive and stamina and determination and self-control. It says to plan for success. Success. So plan for success. And uh, stay focused. And for some, it can be travel or relocation. Which I mentioned travel twice now. So, some of you are definitely going to either relocate. Maybe you're going to make a move. Or travel. Some of you, too, might get some type of public recognition for something. So with the Six here of Swords, this shows end of challenging times. So, um, it shows that things are looking up and improvements. 
Now again, this mentions travel or relocation. Okay, three times now. So some of you are definitely going to be re relocating from where you are now to somewhere else. Um, obviously, it's relocate, isn't it? <laughs> or travel. So where are you guys planning on going? <laughs> and, you know, this could also be about somebody at a distance from you. Um, maybe you're going, maybe you have to travel to see them. Maybe you're going to re relocate to where they are, but somebody at a little bit of a distance from you is what this can also indicate. All right, guys. So again, if you like this, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Uh, the weekly here over, excuse me, the, this monthly one over the weekly. You can let me know which one you like better. And uh, a couple videos should be popping up there. You guys might want to check one of them out. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.